Why aren't handheld radios dead? Handheld radios, or commonly known as ham radios, walkie-talkies, CB radios, etc. are radios that send frequencies to communicate with each other. Okay, first, let's talk about ham radios. Is it tasty? Sadly, not that kind of ham. Ham radios stand for amateur radios. They are radios that operate at certain frequencies, often 1 megahertz to 30 megahertz, and can go really far if you have the proper antenna and the proper power to do so. Ham radios are mostly used by the government and hobbyists that like to communicate at far distances without using cell phones. No, ham radios can be illegal if you're on government used frequency. So be careful about that. They are more reliable than traditional cell phones and can go a lot further than walkie-talkies. The average citizen would probably want to go to 2 to 20 miles, which is the max for ham radios that are portable. That's crazy, since it's portable and the antennas are only about the size of my head. If you have an antenna on the roof and are using a base station, expect 50 to 200 miles. Okay, let's talk about walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies are another form of radio, like this one. These radios are mostly used for camping, housework, or construction. Why? Well, they are short distance radios, which means they can't go as far as a ham radio could. So, mostly schools or construction crews use them because instead of using your phone and getting distracted, you can use the radio and be like, hey boss, and then he can answer you. Some of these walkie-talkies support GMRS, also known as General Mobile Radio Service. It requires a license, which nowadays aren't really causing havoc. Don't fret. GMRS frequencies often average from 462 to 467 megahertz. Those are on walkie-talkies, that's channels 23 to 50. Just in case someone asks you, go to under channel, channel 23 and you're fine. So why aren't these devices being used? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. It's that because phones exist, and these radios do require a bit of a learning curve, which can slow a lot of people down, and quite frankly, people just don't want to learn it. So the only people who use these radios are hobbyists and government, and, or employers. All right, here's a question. What would be better, a phone or a ham radio? Like, if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it.